Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Bit of a later live stream. Uh, Ashley kidnapped me today, and we just got back a little while ago. We got some things to talk about today. Yes, we do. Sitting by the pool with the toesies out, wiggling, having a good day. Uh, but I hope each and every one of you are having a fantastic day. And thank you for coming to spend some of it with me. Uh, so we do officially have word from Nintendo that we're going to be getting more updates. Which, technically, we kind of already knew. Uh, because when the game released, they already mentioned that we were going to be getting updates for three years. Uh, but they were going to be focusing on more fun updates, quote-unquote. Uh, so I figured we'd have a little bit of a discussion about what we might think is going to be happening with Animal Crossing in the future. Kind of discuss what I anticipate from updates over the next couple months and maybe even year. And then see what y'all think about and what you want in the game as well. I don't know. Have a little bit of a discussion while also trying to get some things done. We still got to try and kick out Tucker. Uh, but what we need to do first is we're going to go into the daytimes. Hello, dearie. How are you today? What is that? Double-sided tape, you say? For the telescope stuff. Yes. 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 That will be great. That is perfect, actually. More than perfect. Thank you. That is, uh... I didn't know they made, like, even more powerful double-sided tape. That's awesome. I don't understand why the biggest game Nintendo has was not discussed at E3, because it came out a year ago. E3 is for discussing new games, not old games. Why spend millions of dollars on a game you're not going to make any more money on? Doesn't make any sense. As I've been mentioning for months. It is very expensive. Well, I guess this year it wasn't very expensive to do stuff, but... Uh, still. Traditionally, it's very expensive to do stuff at E3. Very expensive. Um, do you know who I saw today? Everyone I looked at. Sweet baby Jesus. Tiff and I, how are you doing today? Hawk, Matablaze, Shell, Elku, Matt, Kuki, Bella, Caitlin, Colette. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> you don't like my vision joke too bad. That's how I roll. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I was very skeptical about all the Animal Crossing E3 rumors. I mean, they're all made by a bunch of... Yeah, I'm not even... Not even going to say it, but don't listen to rumors. Only listen to things, every single thing. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Every single thing we've gotten in Animal Crossing up to this date is exactly what Nintendo said they were going to do for Animal Crossing. No more, no less. We have had official information on exactly what to expect for the next three years. And then for some strange reason, we keep pulling random things out of our ass expecting more. I mean, I'm not doing that, but other people are. But if you look exactly at what Nintendo has said, that is exactly what we have gotten. We have, I mean, it's, uh, it is what it is. There is not a single person on YouTube that knows more than what each and every one of you already know. Uh, what, uh, was that joke too cor cornea for you? Oh my god, Tiff and I. Sweet baby Jesus. Yes. Yes, we have gotten too corny. Sweet baby Jesus. Um, so, let's see here. We gotta try and kick out Tucker. Mm -hmm. Uh, Zozo, thank you for the sassy lemon. And don't forget, I am the master and you are the pupil. Oh my god! Sweet baby Jesus. Tiff and I, how long have you been hoarding all of these eye jokes? Oh my god. Uh, we got Tucker. Okay, so Tucker is outside for once. Jarena, how are you doing today? Matt, what it do? Happy post-birthday. Securios. Caddy, Jessica. Oh my god. A vest, you mateys. Lulu the pirate lass. That is a long name. Oh my god, it's a... It's a shark. It's a shark. Sweet baby Jesus. Here we go. 
Come on, baby. Back in the olden days when we were doing like million bell shark fishing competitions. I don't get it. Oh no. It is so hot in the house right now. I am. We got back. Oh, it's big chungus fish. Hell yeah. Yinny, thank you for the sassy lemon. It was 84 degrees in the house. I think we've got it back down to like 75. That's downstairs where the thing is, though. Upstairs, it's still probably like closest to 80. So hot. Apparently, when we leave the house and we like set it like and arm the alarm, it shuts off the AC. Which is not a good idea when it's in Texas. Oh my god, Sarah just wiped her husband's island like a savage. Spellman, how are you doing? Um, so yeah. We're gonna continue getting updates. Now, I do wanna say what I think is going to happen for the foreseeable future of Animal Crossing and for the updates. Which is exactly what Nintendo has said, which means we're going to be continuing to get um, seasonal updates and slight additions and changes to various uh, types of content that we already have, like the holiday events and stuff like that. So basically what we've seen throughout the past year, which is where they add, you know, bits and pieces to the things that we've already had. Oh my God, it's Megan. Megan wants to leave. Do we want Megan to leave though? I mean, I'm not in love with Megan. We haven't even really talked to Megan once. I just want to say I got uh, Pietro off one Nook Mile ticket. Nice, lands And Decky, thank you for so much. And Steph, thank you so much. Um, oh my god. Oh, dear dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have solar, so I can set my AC to whatever I want. <laughs> I have enough solar to power, like, two houses. We're good. Do we want to get rid of Megan? I'm not horribly in love with Megan. Megan is hideous and terrifying. Bye, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not in love with Megan. I'd rather have Vladimir. Maybe it's time, Megan. Maybe it's time. Danielle Z! Been loving our old Monster Hunter Stories series. Can't wait to play the demo for the new one next week. Hell yeah. Also, that pole dancing chicken is hilarious. Oh, man. We haven't had the stripper chicken for Super Chats in a hot minute. Whew, it's getting hot in here. Sweating like a stuck pig. Wanted to say an early goodbye if things work out. Excuse me, ma'am? Are you talking about the internship? I'm assuming the internship's going to make it so you can't really watch the streams. Oh, man. I've... Go have that 60 hour a week job and won't even be able to join you anymore? Oh my god, 60 hours? Are they at least paying you? Please, for the love of god, tell me they're paying you. Because I... If they're not paying you and they're gonna have you work 60 hours a week, they're gonna, like, just use you and then throw you away. Internships should be illegal. Uh, I've had them on my list of jokes for a few weeks now and couldn't help myself. I love those commuters so much and I'm happy I can make them laugh. I hope you and all the mighty Chaos Daddy have an amazing Father's Day weekend. Oh, it is Father's Day. I didn't even know. <laughs> well, it's Father's Day weekend. Is it today or was it tomorrow? I have no idea. Unpaid internships are evil? Yeah. Make so many monies as might do my own projects, but I'll lose. Ah. See, but, you know, you'll still be able to hang out every once in a while. It'll be all right, Jarena. You got this. Got this. Ooh, what's going on here? It's been a while, Lord Chalk. Oh, Flurry, I want to know what you were talking about. Plus, what happened to our drama? We had Bacon, so we had Crackle, Beardo, and um, uh, Agnes in a love triangle. Nine days until Purple Corgi. Also sent two packages out, a Pokemon theme box for the kiddos and some cute stuff for, and snacks for Ashley. Oh, it's curious. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy actual birthday, the original Matt. Oh, yeah. We see you, Matt. Happy post slash actual slash every day is your birthday. 23rd. So let's go back to the actual day. We need to go to the 17th hour. We're good. 
And Jatina, thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. Oh, Jarena, you gotta take advantage of that opportunity, though. Absolutely. Did I manage to set up the lamp? No, I have managed to do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I need to stop doing absolutely nothing. I need to actually get back into recording videos and maybe have some people actually watch those videos, which means I'm going to have to clickbait. It's going to be great. It's going to be a good month. Catch more than 400 Galarian Slowpoke in Sword and Shield and still no shiny. Oh my god. Yeet that game into the ocean. Burn it with fire. Burn it to the ground. That is too many. Oh, Jesse, that's adorable. Hope your kids are having a good night. You see me loading. Aiden. Um, but yeah, so back to update stuff. So obviously we're going to continue getting slight changes to the things that we've already had in the game. Um, but past that, I do think we're going to get um, gyroids at some point. So the next large-ish update, quote-unquote largest up update, I think is going to be Coffee Boy and gyroids. Now large-ish being a quote-unquote, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to get that though. I just realized I'm a purple corgi. Hell to the end. Jamie, congratulations. And thank you so freaking much. Hell yeah. I just want a white fence already. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Hey, if you thought the power washer game was fun, I found a lawnmower one too. Equally as fun and ridiculous. Oh my god. Um... I think I saw Dragas post a, post a video on that the other day. Is that where you is that where you saw it? Um, because I I I started recording the power washing simulator game, and then he popped up in my recommended again. Also playing power washing game and lawn mowing. Lawn mowing? I don't know if that's as satisfying as uh, power washing though. Do you think they would bring back Tortimer Island? Ah, uh, I don't know. Probably not. I don't think we're going to get too much massive stuff in the terms of Animal Crossing. There's no real incentive there for them to. Unless they can incorporate a way to monetize the updates, there's no logical reason that we are going to get a large update in the game. Other than potentially using it as a marketing device to keep people engaged in Animal Crossing itself, to be able to bring them over to the newest Animal Crossing. Like, I definitely think we're going to get another Animal Crossing sooner than we probably think. Like, maybe within, like, the next two years. Not within the next two years. So, they've already said they have three years worth of updates for this game. So, we can safely assume that we're not going to get a new Animal Crossing before 2023. But... I wouldn't be surprised if we got one in 2023 or 2024. We're not getting farming because the stuff that we saw in the data mining for farming was the pumpkins and stuff that we've already gotten. <clears throat> Is a boo boo. No news. Getting day turnt. Honestly, just waiting for a big, nice update to bring me back. I don't mean to be like a pessimist or anything. I really don't think there's going to be anything big, though. Uh, Brewster and Gyroids being the next quote-unquote big thing that I think we're going to get. But, I mean, even then, it's not like it's a massive amount of content, you know? So I don't want to, like, falsely hype anybody up. You know, I want to keep expectations as to what they should actually be. Uh, let's see here. So we moved back in time, then we moved forward. 
Hashtag all your fault. Got hooked onto Vera bars, then end up getting orders to Germany where I can't get the hashtag sent head. Oh no. Staff, you're going to have to order like a lifetime supply before you leave. Oh my God. But you get to be in Germany for a bit. That's pretty cool. Data mines really don't matter when it comes to content. Developers are famous for putting things into the game or like coding stuff into the game that is just not ever going to be used. Every single game has that kind of stuff. This is just the way it be. Okay, perfect. I'm glad I double checked. So let's see here. We need to grab some Nook Mile tickets. Because I don't think we have any in our inventory. I need gyroids. I need our gyroid band back. Like, I, I agree. Yeah, data mines a year after a game is released. Over a year after a game has released... It's just stuff I wouldn't really pay attention to at this point anymore. Uh, let's see here. All the way down here. We might get more things to, like, plant in the ground, but we're not going to get, like, any full-blown, like, farming that we were hoping for. Like, we might get another event where we need to plant more stuff, but that's about it. Plant plot at the pool entrance on the left side does not match the other side. Level up, please fix. No, I will not. It is there on purpose to drive people absolutely insane. Gonna be there for three years. Gonna miss your live streams. Aw. Try and catch them when I can, but at least I have them up for repeat. I hope you have fun, though. I hope it goes well for you. I wish you a safe travels when you have to. I mean, you probably got a little bit of time before you gotta go. Sending Vlad vibes. Thank you, Colette. And Steph, thank you so much again. And Colette, thank you for the Vladimir flat. Thank you for somebody finally giving us the villager vibes that we want. I would pay real money to decorate inside villager houses and choose their wardrobes. I think that would be amazing. Not only that, but to be able to adjust the exterior, interior, exterior and interior of villager houses... And then being able to have them permanently wear the clothes that we want would be really cool. I agree. I don't know why we can't do that kind of stuff by now. You should play House Flipper if you haven't already. I have played a little bit of House Flipper. I mean, to be fair, I couldn't get anybody to watch the uh, uh, the power washing simulator stuff yet. So House Flipper off the table until we can get maybe th the one game we've recently tried to play going a little bit. Tipper vibes before you get mad. I ended up finding Judy with the big old booty. I've been searching for her for months, so I'm hoping that I can bring you the same luck. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. And congratulations. Oh, Kaylee. Yeah, I don't know how hard that game is to run on. Oh my god, what is this thing? Oh no, it's a hip hop anonymous. It's the dirty, dirty hip hop. Look at that face. Look at it. How oh, dare it. How freaking dare it. I watched Power Washer. Very satisfying. Much satisfy. I was going to make another one, but that one still hasn't gotten a thousand likes. And that's what I set the goal for, for making another one. And I have to abide by my rules. Or else, what's the point of even saying it? I've watched it three times? Hell yeah. It was so funny when Caden walked up to me. He's like, Dad, what are you doing? What is this? Come hither, my dodo. We need something good. All I've ever wanted is trees next to buildings and water. Right? I'm with you, Patricia. 
Oh my god, to be able to have freedom to plant trees where we want and cliffs how we want. Oh my god, there's literally no reason for them to like not just remove that requirement and make everybody happy. And volume control on waterfalls. <laughs> yes. There's definitely a lot of simple things that they could do. Yeah. Yuck. I desperately need to go make dinner, but I wish you the Vladis of Vibes. Ooh, Zozo, thank you. You kind, kind bean. Hope you cooked the most delicious food. Oh, how? How did it get me? <sighs> it's a sad day. At least I can go see what this fish was now. And it wasn't even a shark. Do I think in a future update that they should add the ability for our villagers to do tasks for us and we give them our avatar photo as a thank you for a goodbye gift? Thank you for doing all of the things for me. Here's a photo of my face. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, sure. Yes. Just for the lols. <laughs> Just make them do stuff for you until you boot them off your island and their farewell gift is a photo of your face. <laughs> Revenge. They need to make it so they can use uh, items like a treadmill, basketball hoop, etc. Yeah, I mean, like, the pocket camp has stuff where they get to use all the items. Like, why can't Animal Crossing? I mean, other than the fact that they don't make money from Animal Crossing, like, they do, like, hand over foot with, uh, pocket camp. Look at that bear. Look at that big old bear. I'd absolutely love for there to be more colors of flowers. Oh my god, that's nightmare fuel for a lot of people, though. It's Cherie, mm, the fanciest of cubs. My poor face. Ooh, Christina, congratulations on Raymond. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, can we get... A recipe that we don't have. More of rise. Have they... In previous Animal Crossings, have they ever added more fish and bugs than what the game released with? Has that ever been a thing? Like, I'm curious because if it has been a thing in the past, then there's a small chance that maybe it could happen in the future. But I don't think they have. And I don't think they ever will. I just wish we could eat more than one fruit at a time. Just shove 50 fruits in your face hole. I think Pocket Camp did. Well, Pocket Camp doesn't count. Because Pocket Camp has in-game purchases. Whereas this game doesn't. So they just make money. They just make it rain money all day, every day. And they have, like, Tom Nook in the background. Like, they have every single day 
Like somebody dressed up as Tom Nook just bathing in all the money that they make from Pocket Camp. And then occasionally they like flick a few of the dollar bills out of the bathtub after like rubbing them all over their Tom Nook self over at the Animal Crossing New Horizons department. And they just kind of sadly float into there and like, ah, oh, we'll add this one item then. <laughs> They're all wearing fishnets. Oh my god. Look at this. Antonio, right? Yep. Antonio. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say I've spent a good amount of real money to buy fake money in pocket camp. I mean, I think the majority of us at this point in 2021 have spent more money on, on like phone games than any of us probably ever want to admit. Oh, it's finally starting to cool down a little bit in here. I'm like lower energy right now because I'm trying to just not sweat to death with how hot it is in the house right now. What would you love to have in this game that was in a previous one? I've only ever played this one. I would love to have the villagers be as savage as they used to be. Hey, I'm calling myself out too. Like, I need those remote raid passes in Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee, oh my god. I have a line item in my budget for iOS games. There we go. <laughs> uh. I liked when the villagers used to invite you over to their house or visit yours. Yeah, you know, that was nice. There's actually quite a few things in previous Animal Crossings that I would like to see. If not in this one, then making a return to the next one. Uh, that feature in particular. But I would, I would very much love for the villagers to feel more alive in the future as well. Like actually be able to catch fish and catch bugs and use items that you put out on your uh, on your island. Like it's 2021. Like our games don't need to be run like we don't have the technology of the day, you know? Like Nintendo still very much makes games like it's 1990 still with slightly better graphics. Slightly better graphics being seriously not... <laughs> <laughs> Not too much of an exaggeration. <laughs> but I do think a lot of the reason why we may have not... Like they, they may have fully intended to do more content over the past year for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, but the fact of the matter is COVID happened too. You know, it's not like they were like, yeah, we're going to make a ton of content. Like, like they still were affected by COVID. And then not only that, but their the development studio is still having to make other games as well. So, And then they have to make the quota for the other games. So maybe when the next game that they're working on is done, maybe then we might actually see some larger updates for Animal Crossing. But I still don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. And you can look at the track record for previous games or other games that get free content as well. And then by looking at those other games, you can correctly judge what to expect from other games in their lineup as well. Like, Smash gets free updates, but they get, like, a new person or a new character every couple of months or something like that. Like, it's never massive amounts of content, but at the end of the day, it still is free updates, which a lot of companies won't even ever even bother to do, so. 
I I appreciate it. I still love this game just as much. Maybe I don't want to play it all day every day like I did when I first got it, but taking a break every couple days and then coming back is nice. Elku, what's going on? Ooh, no bugs. No bees, rather. <clears throat> I'm very surprised that they haven't done, like, an update or something where we can get a second island for, like, a certain amount of money, though. Got my verb bars today. Thank you for recommending. Hell yeah, Liz. I hope you enjoy them. And thank you for the support as well. I need more villagers. That's something they could so easily do. Because all the villagers use the same dialogue anyway, so all they have to do is just design a new one. I think we all would appreciate that quite a bit. Oh, Barbara. Oh, no. I can't see them letting us purchase a second island since so many people buy a second switch to do that. It's so true. It's so true. Like, why give people the option to get, like, a new island for, like, $10 when they could buy a $400 switch? Or however much it's supposed to be. I am very surprised. Well, I mean, we still have till the end of the year for a Zelda crossover event with Animal Crossing. They've done it in previous games. So I think one thing to expect maybe this year is us maybe. So, you know what? We probably won't get Zelda items until next year when Zelda Breath of the Wild comes out. So next year, I'm guessing we get Zelda Breath of the Wild crossover with Animal Crossing where we get some of the items in the game. Uh, this year, I'm still thinking we will... I know there have been an absolute ton of clickbait videos about Brewster, but I do think that Brewster will come this year. I don't know when. Um, it has to be before fall. If we don't get Brewster before winter, I don't think it makes any sense for a Brewster to release during the winter. Look at this big old rhino. Um, but yeah. Bam, 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 bam. And it doesn't look like uh, we're going to have some good luck today. Oh my god, Sarah. I wish you the best. My goodness. Glad to have you here with us. <laughs> but yeah, with Breath of the Wild coming out next year, or Breath of the Wild 2 coming out next year, that may explain why we haven't had the Zelda crossover yet. I don't know why I keep saying crossover. I guess that's not the proper proper word for it. I don't know. Don, thank you for the sassy lemon. Thank you very much. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Come on, baby. You dirty dodo, give us some good villagers. Okay, 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 okay. You could have just said no, Wilbur. You didn't have to take me to Anteater Island. The betrayal. The betrayal. Mm -hmm. See, I'm trying to think what other big updates that I, I feel like we could get this year. 
And I really can't think of anything other than Brewster that would really add enough content to bring people back to hunt for something. My next villager would not be garbage. Ooh. Thank you, Elku. Just hunt for anteaters and you'll never see one. Ah, that's a good idea. If it's not a second island, what about Tortimer's Island? That'd be interesting. I don't know. I mean, if they... Ooh. Oh, 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 Elku, you, you lied to me. Oh, my God. What time is it in game right now? All right, so we're late enough in the day to be able to get Shark Island. Like, I'm really hoping that maybe, just maybe we do that. Laura and Strawberry, thank you for the super chats. Flea market's back. Missing a lot of clothing items. Maybe. I mean, to be quite honest, there's a lot of things that they could add. Oh, I know why we haven't gotten any good villagers yet. <laughs> don't close your eyes. You don't even pretend like you don't want to see that booty. Have you seen the new Loki series yet? I have. It's pretty good. <laughs> Brooke, how are you doing? I wish they had an option to buy Nook Miles with bells. I have bells, but I don't use but never enough Nook Miles, like 10,000 bells for 1,000 miles. I feel like we'd get spend 10,000 bells for 100 miles. Most likely is what we would end up getting if that were to happen. But that would be nice, because you could sell Nook Mile tickets for bells. But you can't spend miles for bells. Oh my god, is this Nana again? Sweet baby Jesus, what is happening today? Did you like the Kenshin movie? Uh, Kuki, actually, I did. I really liked it that it covered stuff from the OVAs. That's what you call them nowadays, right? I didn't know that that's what the, uh, what the movie was going to be about. So that was pretty cool. I was like, wait a second. I remember watching these, the, cause those, th I think there were three of them, right? The three OVAs that were, uh, kind of covered stuff before Samurai X. Or Ruini Kenshin, rather, or whatever you want to call it. Man, it's been so long. So long. But it was actually pretty good. I do think we need more updates like the swimming update. The swimming update was exciting. Although I have not swam in so long. Does anybody swim anymore? Like, we swam when we first started this island, so it's a good way to make extra money. Sending hazel vibes? Excuse me, Para. And because the Anishi Saga is actually the last saga in the manga, uh, and the next movie they're gonna release later this year is going to be going to be him being Batosa. Wait, really? Interesting. That wow, they're really going ham with that. They're gonna get really dark with that. <gasps> wait a second, what island is this? This is Big Fish Island? No, what? Wait, what? 
island is this? We got Zucker, though. Zucker's pretty sweet. Ah, oh, Zucker. Our big, chonky, head-slash-bodied food villager. Man. Doing the origins. That's going to be nuts. You did say you'd take him if you saw him again? I lied. I lied. If we we have to get him twice in the same day. So if we get Zucker again today, then we'll take him. And yeah, we're still looking for Vlad. Really got to get rid of the meth bird. He's bringing down my island. Oh my god. Oh, nice, doctor. Hell yeah. Excuse me, staff. Do we need to end the stream right now? Ooh, hamster boy, big old chunk. Hamlet. Man, I need some, some wow, I am parched. Have they mentioned when the next update will be? They have not. So the next Let's think about this. So when could we get the next updates? So we know that they have to provide an update by th Halloween. Halloween would be the next time we got major content, right? Just trying to think of... Oh, God. Just, just yeeted my phone. Last year, the summer update was announced June 25th. Yeah, but... I mean, that was just a summer update. I'm just saying... I'm just trying to think of when they would have to do an update. Like, we know they have to update the Halloween event to add new items. Now the question is, are they going to wait until they have to update the game to update the game? Maybe they'll update the fireworks? I gotta sleep for work at 3 a.m. Sending good chonky villager vibes before I do, though. Stay cool, Tag. May the sun's assassins fail to take you out. Whoa! Thank you? Well, thank you for the super chat, Meredith. I mean, I, I don't see them updating the fireworks thing, to be honest. Oh my god, it's Marina. The national treasure on the same island. Wait, no, this is Big Fish Island this time. I don't anticipate them changing anything for fireworks other than maybe like adding like a different type of item that we can get. Yeah, sharky, 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 sharky. Don't let these fish nets scare you away.
Our national treasure. Look at her. She's beautiful. I really want to talk about Yaki Island. Yes. Oh my god, no! <sighs> it's been a long day. Ooh, nice, Grace. And hashtag lurkers unite. Clouds are dissipating, which means I might be able to do some Astro stuff tonight around 1 a.m. <laughs> bong, 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 bong. Like, would you rather eat durian than pineapple pizza? No. Oh, just think about durian pizza. Literally a pizza that smells like it came out of somebody's butt. Astrophotography stream? Unfortunately, um, I can't, there's nothing in the sky that I can actually photograph until 1 a.m. And I won't be awake. I am super tired. I am struggling to make it to one hour right now. That was the yawn, by the way. It was a scream yawn. Sometimes you have to scream the demons out when you're sneezing, but also sometimes when you're yawning. Durian is from hell. I mean, it has to be. It has to be. Durian pizza does exist? No. No. Why? That should be illegal. I yell yawn all the time. It's the best. Supposedly it helps wake you up. Imagine if Tag falls asleep during the stream. Maybe we should start like sleep streaming. Maybe we can make that take off. I mean, we got hot tub streamers now. We could totally do like sleep streams. Or we could do streaming where every time we get a new member, we just keep streaming and then we stream for the rest of our freaking lives. So sending tag durian pizza. Oh my God, no. Somebody already sleep streams? Oh my god. But do I snore? No, I don't. Unless I have like like having allergies or something. Hello. Oh. It's a doggo. Good old fashioned doggo. Doing his doggo things. Do a huge subathon like Ludwig. Unfortunately, all that would happen for me is the stream would just end. We'd hit the timer and then the stream would end. <laughs> that would be there would be the most humiliating subathon ever, I think. That's not the right button. Woo! Having the brain farts today. There we go. Have a capo a cappuccino <laughs> to help you stay awake. I just had an energy drink too, which I knew I shouldn't have done because it made me feel like garbage. Would Tang actually consider a hot tub mukbang stream though? No, I would not. No, I would not. I would do food things though. I've been planning on doing that for a while actually. I was gonna do the talkies thing. I'd been talking about that for like a couple months, and then Markiplier did it. 
And now I feel like I would just be copying Markiplier if I did it, so I just didn't. <laughs> Last time Tag did an Animal Crossing stream, he forgot to end the stream. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. Uh, technically, I ended it in OBS, but YouTube just kept it running. Liz, thank you for the turn. Maybe do a hot sauce gauntlet like on Hot Ones? Oh, that's interesting. Pretty sure most of your unboxing streams are just food streams. I mean, that's kind of true. Kind of very accurate, actually. I loved your jerky review. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> while we were uh, live streaming the trip, that was good. I've actually been wanting to do that again. I was going to buy all the damn good beef jerky and do a, like a uh, eating every kind of jerky thing. I don't even know what life is, but yeah, you know what I mean. We are not getting good villagers today. Kaylee, how are you doing today? Thank you for coming. To Would you rather do a hot tub stream or glitter beard? Neither. Neither are going to happen. I'm not on Twitch. <laughs> Although I have been debating streaming on Twitch. Like once or like maybe twice a week or something like that. I haven't decided yet. Robin C, thank you for the cat. Excuse you, you got Marina. We did get Marina and Zucker, but we couldn't take either of those. So it was just a tease. Come on, Vlad, you dirty little bear. You know you like these fishnets. Don't you hide from me. You just gotta think like a bear, right? You gotta eat some berries. You gotta make loud noises. Scoot! What else do those bears do? How do I channel my inner bear? Oh my god, it's a mouse. <laughs> <sighs> I bet Tag has a six pack, a six pack of energy drinks. Bow, 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 bow. I haven't had a six pack in seven years, and I'm never going to exercise enough to ever have one again. <laughs> Anna Banana, how are you doing? I need a new pair of lucky fishnets. I do need a new pair of lucky fishnets. Maybe it's the red ones that have been scaring everyone away. Gotta be, right? Oh my god, it's finally... It's finally... Not super duper hot in the office. Oh my god, look at that duck. What duck is that? We upgraded to a pony keg from a six pack. Much easier to maintain. It's Quirson, yes. Quirson. Did they remove Shark Island? I feel like they've removed it. I feel like we should have probably had it already by now. Alright. We're going back to the legacy rules where every time we don't get a villager we want, we take off a piece of clothing. Not in real life! In the game, okay? Bunch of weirdos. You have wonderful humans. Villager <laughs> 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 strip hunting. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Boo, no fun. Oh my god. Maybe they like yellow fish nuts, maybe. Ooh, I did forget the wait, we're gonna have to grab uh pitfall traps after this. <laughs> I'm hither, my bear cub. Your destiny awaits. Money Rock Island again. Oh, 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 oh. It's the South. It's the, the, <laughs> representing the South Camo Gator. I didn't even see a villager there. There was an even one. Come on, Wilson. Orville. I know what your name is. I'm sorry, bird. Come fly away. Bird, bird, bird. I do think I am going to record another video of Power Washing Simulator tonight for tomorrow, though. I think we have to clean a playground next. Which is going to take forever. Come on, Wilbur. Come on. Want to make a clap? No? Get excited. Let's go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> How long did the backyard take? So long. It took so long. I think to record that like 20 minute video, it took like two, uh, two hours, something like that. Not too long. That being said, it is nine o'clock. I have to do tuck-ins for the kiddos. And I promised them I would watch a movie with them before <laughs> bedtime. Uh, and it's nine. So if we're going to watch something together, then I got to stop now. But I did want to get a little bit of a live stream in today. So sorry it was a super duper late one. Uh, but we got some villager hunting in. We got to talk about a little bit about what I feel like is going to happen for the future of Animal Crossing. And we got to hang out for a little bit. Tomorrow we'll be back to our normal streaming and video uh, schedule. But I do hope each and every one of you has a wonderful night. Get some sleep. Have a wonderful night. And hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. That's how that saying goes, right? Something like that.